Hello. You're only hearing me because I done hecked up twice with this because I couldn't stream it live because of my dumb ass and uh, I accidentally muted it. So I'm going to introduce everyone and then the audio will kick in in a second. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Um, we got Marty joining us again as Dance Lap Sweet Chest. She now has a second pamphlet in Cleric and uh, another level in Bard. She is an entertainer. Yeah. Uh, below him is Soup, playing our everyone's favorite handsome snake man, Vianti, the Yuanti warlock. They are a duo teaching Zumba across the Sword Coast now. Um, it's an ancient Yuanti fitness exercise. And they have a cart and a horse named Tabasco. Uh... Right down there, we have Sean, Power Score RPG. I'm sure you've heard of him. He is uh, the host of Waffle Talk, Dungeon Academy, a billion and a half other Twitch shows, uh, Dice, uh, Dice Game Reaction recaps on uh, his blog, all that, all that. You know him. You love him. He's the best. Um, he's playing Bram, a Tempest cleric who just can't let it go, man. I'm sure it won't come up. It's fine. Straight down, Daniel, playing Lady Priscilla Justice, which is 100% her real name, I was assured. Um, uh, a noble from Waterdeep has some retainers, uses a rapier along uh, that's hidden in the hilt of her parasol. Bossy noble lady. Weiss, she's kind of Weishni from Ruby, if you're familiar. And last but certainly not least, down in the bottom bottom corner, we have Holly uh, playing Lavender, the tiefling wizard. She has a little displacer cat. She doesn't go outside very much. It's good. They have recently been taken by the mists, which I'm sure nothing bad has ever happened. In mist. Hashtag not all mists. To the accompanying sound of large galloping horse hooves. And that's pretty much all you missed before I realized that and fixed the audio. Enjoy! It was a very fun session other than that. So, sorry again, but it's totally worth it. Okay. And it's short. It's not that long. But I'm not saying, you're going to see me still in a second. It's fine. Uh, he says he's getting me a drink. I'm gonna finish my drink real quick before I get <laughs> Hey guys. Okay. Uh, I'm real, real stupid. This has been muted the entire time. Oh. <laughs> it's, all right. it's okay. That's amazing. Can we just like lip dub? So a halfling, a yuan T. And a human cleric <laughs> walk into a bar. Yep. That's what's it. <laughs> a dyslexic man walks into a bra. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, are you okay, Andy? No, Do I'm not. But I'm just frustrated with myself, and it's fine. Does the does the yeah, wanty yeah. have hair? Yes, he does. Okay. I... Is there a celebrity that the wanty looks like that we can so I can visualize? I see. Yes. Somebody put a picture yeah, yeah. in there. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Great. Nice for noticing. Yeah. No. Okay. He looks like this. Yeah, oh. so like a prettier version of what's in the chat. Okay. All right. Okay. He's kind of... His scales on his face have been cut into kind of a constellation pattern. Mm. He's super yeah. pretty. I'll... I'll <laughs> you know, boy. I was navigating by the constellations... When it happened. <laughs> well, let me continue to guide you. Okay. Go get him, Beatty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Griffin. Um, All right, we're gonna go in and get drinks. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> quick recap. At the traveler's rest, pass some mists. Traveler's re- rest. There were some mists. Um, mm-hmm. a, horse hooves. Yeah, horse hooves. It's all fine. I'll do something. I'll figure this out. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll do it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Lady Priscilla, you are walking with your retainers outside uh, your would... estate in Waterdeep. When, I'm greeting all my subjects. When you feel um, clawing fog overtake you and your retainers, and you find yourself outside a dilapidated a dilapidated inn with the sign "The Traveler's Rest." Oh the door my. is swinging shut. I I take out a steel fan. Which, if you look closely, is really just uh, an elaborately designed dagger, and I'll start fanning my face with it. Oh, oh, how frightening this scenery is. And um, I'm going to, with my parasol, uh, uh, walk inside the bar and sort of have my parasol draped over my shoulder but not opened. Okay. Um... And, and I'm going to basically, is there anyone here who can tell me where I am and basically start asking around? Uh, you walk inside and the only people you see are, uh, sorry, Bram, you're a human, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. A human, cl- a human dressed in some kind of heavier armor, a, um, a snake man in very flowing dancer's robes. And a halfling uh, kind of has climbed over the bar and is grabbing some bottles. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Um, okay. Lavender. Uh, rabble. Um, wait, what? You fell asleep at your desk, and now you're standing outside a bar. That's weird. Oh, no. Kitty? Kitty, 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 where's kitty? Um, I don't like this kitty. What do you think we should do? She knows I can't talk. I want to be here. I want to go home. I don't want to do it. Maybe I should go inside. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go inside. You're going to need feeding soon anyway, aren't you, kitty? I'm going to go in the bar. Okay. Very relaxing. <clears throat> and like, like, holding her stuff, like, literally strikes. No. <laughs> um, you walk inside and you see a finely dressed human woman, a very handsome snake man, mm. a, um, human with a sailor's charm and mm-hmm. whatever dance lap is. <laughs> and my, my retainers aren't with me, correct? Oh, yes, yes. And three my retainers. less dre- well-dressed humans. Um, They're all carrying packs of my stuff. So Lavender's gonna like be like, oh god, and like pull her hat down over her little horns and like slowly kind of shuffle and shimmy along the back wall. And hope that no one notices, and then sits in the corner. Okay. So you sit alone in the corner of this basically empty bar. <laughs> okay. And hope that no one noticed. We all, like, just... That means it's super obvious. And, oh, yeah. You hear... <laughs> <laughs> a cat walk in and just start meowing, and, like, walking around one of the retainers, like, you probably have food, feed me. <laughs> Meow! Meow! <laughs> Stretch a lot of shuffling. What is that adorable and disgusting creature? I'm gonna kind of like give it a little, give it a little, little prod with my with my with my shoe. Oh, oh, oh my! Oh no, no, Eleven does not having that. Eleven is not having that. She's gonna uh, cast Mage Hand and try to push you uh, away from the kitty um this skeletal spectral hand 
comes at you and gently, kind of ineffectively presses at your chest. I'm going to, like, this just enrages me. So I, I kind of look around the bar okay. trying to see, oh, uh, shoot. Who did we lose? Uh, okay, no, okay. she's back. I accidentally hit leave call, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, okay. Good. So I'm going to look around the bar angrily and sort of just bat my hand away. And, and, um, <laughs> hmm? That won't work, I don't think. I, I'm sort of just going to, in rage, start stomping around, going, Who did it? Who laid this spectral hand on my pristine and royal bosom? Who did it? Are you the bartender? I am not the no bartender. Labels on these bottles. <laughs> What's this? I'm just like paralyzed by fear and the main what? hand is. Uh, dis- I, I'm kind of distracted by this 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 halfling woman who's now looking at these unlabeled bottles. I would not drink those if I were you. Um, I'm drinking them. But <laughs> advice <laughs> asked and answered, yeah. Bram, heads up. You can, you can try this one. Uh, I'll try it. <laughs> it looks um, like we were shipping a alcohol quite like this on our final <laughs> voyage. It was soft. Maybe- Bitter. <laughs> Lady Beyonce will listen to him and start pouring a drink for him. Like, uh huh, yeah, okay. Tell me your yeah. trouble. Get him, Beyonce. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll, I'll drink it. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of stare with disgust at the rest of the uh, at the rest of the people in this bar, and then I'm going to sort of go to one of the stools. And like try like order one of my retainers to wipe it off for me and then and then sit down on it. it they get as much dust as they can off but it, as you are dusting it's somehow making more cobwebs <laughs> it's just like an arcana check just so leave like, it just leave it may tend for to see why the hell it's all spectral and skeletony sure because that's super interesting if nothing else yeah, real badly. Uh, I think that's a 13. 13? Okay. Um, you know that in order... You know, one, that that's not what Mage Hand looks like. Yeah. No, and I am very well aware of that. Two, strong magical fields from different planes of existence can affect how spells are cast. So you suspect you're not on the prime material plane anymore. Oh no. She realizes that and then she just like shrinks up in a bowl and gets as small as she can and just like just just tries not to cry about it. <laughs> tries not to have a panic attack. She's basically just hyperventilating like <laughs> <coughs> Vianti will motion over to dance claps and be like, uh we got a crier. Alright. Alright. Um and by the way, Andrew mm-hmm. Whatever dance lap is, is a piece of 3.5 art brought to life. If you don't know what that is, just search for halflings with safe search off. You'll get there. I'm, I'm, I'm going back to uh, to the crier. Uh, was there something that looked more like wine? Um, they look like wine coolers, but yeah. Yeah, perfect. She looks like a lightweight. Uh, all right. When I say walk, I probably mean saunter directly in her direction. No, 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 please don't see me, please don't see me. As she passes, um, <laughs> Lady uh, Lady Justice just mutters the word uh, harlot under her breath. Professionally. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking. I got wine coolers. <laughs> also, also, I can see you, despite your best efforts to say it over and over again. Okay. Good. No, thank you. All right. Well, more for me. There's no coin in this place, Vianz. It's a coin you need, then I've got plenty of that. Just tell me how I can get out of here. 
Uh, we all, like, no. I, I don't know if we could do that. Why? No, yeah, Bianti and I got you. We can guide you. Yeah. <laughs> Give a look like offering money. I'm I'm going to take out my coin purse and I'm going to sort of jingle around uh, whatever I have in there. Um, and then I say, it's yours if you get me back home. Okay, well, I'm not a cat, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, we can... We uh, we took the long road here, and we'll take the long road out. All right. Well, is that? That's, that's not going to... I don't think that will work. And why won't it work? Yeah, I'm sorry, Whispering what? Shadow, you had something to say? <laughs> <laughs> gentle <laughs> voice gentle voice uh, um, i we're we're not uh, on the but how do i um uh we're not we're in the wrong um um d d dimension uh um this is this is not a right dimension this is this is other one this is not this is bad one this is very bad one may turn to not be skeletons and i don't think that's a good place but maybe we're in like a plane of death oh my god did i die oh my god are we all dead oh my god we're all dead you're not dead i think oh hold on i start checking my pamphlet are we dead <laughs> make a medicine <laughs> uh, sure <laughs> Don't think. Uh, well, shit. Actually, uh, twenty-two. No, you're alive. You're definitely alive. I mean, that, that no. floating skeleton hand isn't, but yeah. Um, can I roll history and see if I know anything about what's going on? Sure. Oh, shoot, where did I put my dice bag? Sorry. No, speaking of, I'm gonna find mine. <laughs> okay. That is a oh shit! That's a natural twenty. Okay. Which is a total of uh, twenty-four for history. Twenty-four to the DC. That's a shame. <laughs> I mean, I got a nat twenty, so I don't know. But they taught me this at Chrissy Noble School. Beware mists. With that, you have heard rumors that folks traveling alone or um, folks traveling on highways at night have been disappearing, especially on foggy nights. Um, oh dear! But you don't know. I mean, it's mostly rumors. You've never heard of a inn of this name and not in anywhere near Waterdeep or where you've sussed out where the, your new companions are from. Nothing nothing you had heard in Bayroon or the Sword Coast outside of fog occasionally abducts people on highways. Oh dear, I've heard about a string of abductions, but I... I didn't think I would become subject to one. Oh dear, oh dear. And then I'm going to start fanning myself very quickly. Katie, I don't think we're in Faerun anymore. Come on. When we were, so when we were home. outside, so maybe you'll was there any other buildings or um, anything like that? It's the only one. And also, is there anywhere else? Is there another floor to this building? or itself? There is a second floor to this building. And the only thing outside you noticed was a small graveyard. Oh, great! Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, check out the, about there. the second floor. Okay, I'm gonna draw my. I would sword. also like to go up to the second floor and hopefully find some slightly cleaner accommodations. No, I'm gonna. Beyonce is gonna drape his arm around the handsome human and go up with him. <laughs> Uh, Commoners. Is gonna... Rape your... Okay. Lavender's is it... gonna try and sneak outside while no one's looking, or at least when she thinks no one's looking, and uh, in the graveyard, because she feels more at home there. You and then is gonna do... Oh uh, no. Probably some kind of check to see oh, if she knows anything no. about the graveyard. Okay. Upstairs... Probably another arcana check. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm pretty sure 
we're all dead. Did you all drown? I think I'm dead. Did you all drown? No, I was simply walking near my estate in Waterdeep. Not that you would know anything about that. Waterdeep. I know much about deep water, a lady. We're probably all dead, so let's find out what our what our final fate is. I don't see how that's possible. My retainers are also dead. I assume with this us. is in I... some kind of metaphor. <laughs> no, so let's... Let me guess, a metaphor for the ocean. <laughs> Every, no, everything that we encounter in here is going to be something from our lives. And we're going to learn about, you know... We're going to get our comeuppance for the horrible things we've all done. Yes, I remember. I remember. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. You're clearly a metaphor for my drunk, insane uncle. I look at the wine cooler in my hand, and that actually checks out. <laughs> this does remind me a lot of terrible things I've done. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, so what's upstairs? The terrible wine cooler <laughs> tastes like strawberry vinegar as well. But um, yeah. upstairs... Um, if you're looking for better accommodations, you don't find them. You get to the top of the stairs, and as soon as you hit the top of the stairs, your foot crashes through the top step, and you kind of have to pull it back out. And you look down the hallway, and you just see all the doors have been smashed in. There's a giant hole in the ceiling. Um, rain has started to fall through, and a bunch of broken beds, dressers, are kind of just shoved into the hallway. It, it was raining when the whirling glyph went down. Now, I think we should check the closets because I think we're going to find our skeletons. And I'm kind of curious as to... Uh, yes, yes, very good idea. Uh, servants, please check the closets for us. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> we'll kind of start climbing over the furniture. Um, uh, point of order, if the Whispering Shadow is going outside, I do not like her being alone, so I would like to kind of get to the door and call for her. if she doesn't answer I'll, I'll follow just handle that but I'm not leaving her alone Okay. I thought you were talking about a spell I was like what? no no talking about you I don't have a name for you yet <laughs> you got murmurs it's fine mm -hmm. um, we, we, we split the party so yeah, good job, right away it's just not this is broke too, anyway. you guys. First thing. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. That's my. Life. I have a parasol. I can use to jump out the window if um, something goes wrong. Parasol. Well, it is raining, so. Exactly. Actually, yes. I'm gonna put up my umbrella. Obviously. Wait. So it's raining. So is like the Wanty guy like all glistening now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You betcha she is, or he is. Uh, she I, wasn't. He's or, not trying to cover yeah. up at all. No. <laughs> You don't even think he was near the hole in the roof and just soaking wet. It's like in a shampoo commercial where, like, the hair just goes... Yeah. Uh, he kind of readjusts there, his robes off a little bit more. <laughs> if I was there, I'd cast Dancing Lights right now, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> that is... That is nice. Really bad. Um, okay. Priscilla is watching really bad. Uh, Lavender. She's incredibly flustered. No. You go outside and you want to look at the, the, the graveyard? I just want to be alone. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything you're looking for? You just want to be alone? I, I want to look for things because she, she, she wants to learn stuff and okay. she's never been outside before. She's never had to do anything before. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I am. Um, you picked a good time to go outside. Um, mm -hmm. Make a perception or investigation check, please. I'm gonna do investigation. Okay. And I rolled really high. I got a 19 and I have a plus 6 or plus 5, so I did really well. Okay. Plus 6, proficiency I bonus is 3 six. now. No, it was plus 5 if it was a wisdom check, I couldn't remember. Uh, um, so I had a 25. So I know everything, mister. Okay. Definitely a graveyard. It's a hundred percent a graveyard. Good job. That's um, good. <laughs> you find a gravestone engraved no. with the name no. Eli no. No. von Hassen. 
Does that ring any bells, or do I need to do a history check, maybe? Um, you can, but you're probably not going to know anything about it. Great. Um, DC 30. Yeah, it's real, real high. So, Eli von um, Hassan, uh, Lord of the Keep, uh, Master of the Manor. Do I see any manners? Um, Nobody has manners around here. You think maybe way, 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 way down the road you might see another building, but you wouldn't say it looks particularly nice or like a manor. Um, oh, no. And the, uh, the dates on the tombstone don't make sense to you because it says 1843... To 1892 and you know the year is 1493 dr so those don't really make much sense no. okay well um uh, she's gonna try and do a ritual casting i think of uh detect magic okay that's a ritual casting isn't it yep yeah, yeah you can cast how that does that work how does it work just quickly yeah because i learned that how did that works today and i've okay. already forgotten so you can sense magical effects within a certain area and you learn what their school is. So. Uh, well, I guess I'll do it in the general area of the inn. Um, probably where I, like, awoke. Um, to see if I sense any, like, uh, water leaves. Or if I can get any idea of what's happening. I just don't know what's going on, and I don't like it. So is um, the halfling out there with her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on her. Have yeah, you made are you yourself known, or are you just like, following from looking the distance? Looking at graves. No, nah, no, nah, she seems real spooked by company, so I'm just going to kind of... Mm-hmm. Just out here getting wet. I'm also glistening, not that anyone's here to appreciate it. Um, okay. You get, as soon as you finish your ritual, you feel oh, no. an overwhelming sense of dread and just a shit ton of necromancy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna be zombies, oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna die. back inside, upstairs, Lady Priscilla, your... Um, retainers come back and they say, we didn't find anything in the closet. Now. It's quite all right. It's quite all right. I'm going to kind of take a deep breath to hide my frustration. And I'm going to look outside and I, it's, it's like the whole opening and I can see what's in the graveyard. Uh, yeah, you see a small tiefling girl kind of rocking herself back and forth in the graveyard. Sweetie, did you find anything? Can you tell Auntie's me what you gonna... can you use a can you use a big girl voice and tell me what you found, please? Really bad. I'm going to. Would I be able to use my umbrella to kind of float out of the hole safely and land next to her? You're not oh, the penguin. Hmm? <laughs> um, you, you could climb down. I don't think the parasol would Fair enough. Would hold the weight of a person in armor. Okay. It's leather armor. Because Lavender's going to use message to say in your head, it's necromancy, there's lots of necromancy, we're all going to die, we're all going to die, there's necromancy, yeah. Um, I'm assuming it just cuts off because it's only 25, like, words. It's just, ah! Yeah, it's a bunch of necromancy and ah. Um, can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's that is a... Okay. Uh, that's a four. Okay. Oh, dear. That is a... That's a four. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Eight. I got Eight. a fourteen. Fourteen. I, I got a nine. I'm just I'm just looking at her. Okay. Making sure she uh, doesn't have the sense to come out of the rain, obviously. Bran, 
You kind of. I have a coat. I'm fine. You kind of see out the giant hole in the inn. You see down a distance on the road a horse galloping towards you. Uh, and it's got a bunch of mist around it, much like the mist nope. that, that took you. Nope. Nope. Um, the horse rears, gets back down, and you see that the rider does not have a head. Oh. I'll, I'll, um, I'll point no, that out no, to everybody. No, 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 no. I think no, that's no. Gonna, gonna kill us all. So I'm gonna, like, uh, I'm gonna, like, climb out the window okay. and, you know, make like it's the rigging on the ship and mm-hmm. try to scamper down the okay. side. You I'm going to go. Because it gives you bad memories. <laughs> yeah, I've probably been crying the entire time. <laughs> Me too, it's fine. I'm going Thanks, to look outside and be like, oh, a friendly face. Oh, he doesn't have a face. Oh, dear. That's not good. Oh, and I'm going to ask, Um, so these gravestones have our names on them, right? Is that the deal? <laughs> Is there five of them? Did, did I did I see the headless? Horse Is there one for the cat? There? I hope not. No. Smaller one. Yeah, a tiny one. I am. I'm going to. I'm going to also climb down if that's possible. Uh, yeah. Deontay's going to go wait. back down the stairs. Before I, okay. Wait before I climb. I'm going to go. Um, Snake Man, you want to climb on? <laughs> oh. Sweetie. Oh, it's not okay. You'll campaign, have to hold on. <laughs> Extra time. Any time, sailor. Oh god. <laughs> this is fine. This is the so best. Part. He's going to start tying sailor knots in your tail soon. It's going to be. It's going to be real, <laughs> real romantic. Did you know what, Ashley? All grows up. I'm just. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go out through the stairs as well. <laughs> I am realizing that it's out of character for me to climb down anything. Uh, you can make a human pyramid out of your retainers. You can make a retainers, yeah. <laughs> of course, ma'am. <laughs> Anything for you, ma'am. Um, okay. I'd love to see the Headless Horseman go. Uh, now that everyone has kind of started yeah. to move down, you do look up and you see a huge horse and riding it yeah. a person who looks like a horseman oh, without a head. No. I have a picture. He looks like a person without a head. It's gonna be hard to show you the picture. It's in black and white. Alright, okay. Um, so she's gonna, like, try and like, hide behind one of the gravestones and take out a book and she's writing notes furiously. Okay. <laughs> Trying to draw an illustration of him. Okay. I'm like, I wonder what the shit this is. Where'd um, she go? I'm really doing our canon checks to see, like, how he's alive and stuff. <clears throat> Would anyone like to do anything as he approaches? I'd like to roll history. Okay. I would like to roll Arcana. Okay. Because I'm I'm trying to make Arcana note. She right. said she I roll terribly. Roll and terribly. do I uh, undead, right? Hmm? She sensed undead? She sensed she necromancy necro- magic, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm assumably gonna get ready to, undead. I'm gonna get ready to try to use my turn undead. Okay. And um, I would like to make a history check not only on the horseman but also on the gravestone. It's Eli von Hassen, right? Yes. So as I come out to the graveyard, I kind of look at the gravestone. Can I roll for that? Yes. Since I'm a noble or whatever, I don't know if that changes anything. I would like to roll perception to find where the tiefling girl she just hid behind a gravestone. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear, that's uh, that's only like uh. Above it, and she has these big white eyes. So Thirteen, really so probably nothing. Uh, you are fairly familiar with all. You thought all the lords and peerage in Waterdeep, and you do not recognize this name. Hmm, how peculiar. And then I'm going to step sort of out in front of everyone, and with my umbrella, and I'll hold it with both hands in the wind, and look up at this guy. And how close is he going to get? Uh, he's coming towards you. I mean, unless you want to do something to stop him, it looks like he's just going to keep coming. Okay. At a certain point, I'm going to say, Sake your, say, say your identity. T- tell me who you are. Who, who is this? Mendelfo. 
friend, friend of yes, yes, friend of foe. Um, he. I don't think he's got a mouth, honey. He stops his horse. It rears up again. And he kind of pulls it to a stop. Word. He gets off. He walks towards you, shoves you aside, and walks into the inn. My word! And I'm going to stomp after him. Okay. Um, he will walk into the inn, take one step in, wheel around on his heel, and you hear echoing in your head, What have you done here? What have I done? How dare you shove a noble lady? You are no gentleman rider in the night. Uh, Do any I... of the rest of us hear this in our heads? You this? all hear it in your head, yes. Oh, 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 oh okay. I'm talking again. Still spooked okay. by the giant horse. Uh, I quickly finish the wine cooler and toss it in the bushes. I didn't do anything here. <laughs> I don't hear it. I don't look here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I clean some dust off your disgusting sewer. Um, you hear echoing in your head. Put it back. How? How do we do that? I, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Did this we take fault. anything? Hmm? Did anybody here take something? What did we? T all we took was the alcohol, right? Uh, I go and get the wine cooler bottle. Um, <laughs> it, uh, make insight checks, please. Yeah, of course. I went to school for this. That means you're notoriously good at it. If every oh, else okay, that's how I did well. I got to fill your characters. I got fourteen. Okay, dirty 20, twenty, not a natural six, one. Twenty-six. Oh boy. <gasps> Soup, no. It must that be a cleric one. Thing. Twenty-one. Okay. Baby. He's so. very preoccupied with the sailor. <laughs> I, I try to determine what's missing from his life. Ahead. Um, so, um, the twenty, twenty, and twenty-one. You guys don't think he's talking about like moving anything? It seems more like he thinks you've done something to make the inn look like this. Like, it should uh, be a functioning inn. I thought the same, yeah. Same team. Headless it's guy. not our fault that your inn is dilapidated. We have done nothing to it. It was like this when we got here. Nonsense. Please just send me home. I just want to go home. I don't know where we are. I don't know who you are. I don't know where this you is. You would like to go home? go home? Please send me home. I will <laughs> send you home. Roll initiative. <laughs> I'm going to sort of pull up my white gloves and take my umbrella and just sort of spin it around a little bit and then get into a fencing stance. Okay. I rolled a 17. That would be a 20 total. Uh, where's my pen? Okay. This dice is alright. Mine are not treating me so nicely today. <laughs> You should get green ones to match your skin. I have these, like, orangey ones that I thought might go with his golden scales, but they're not oh, so nice. Tasteful. Oh, Always accessorizing. I have yeah. <laughs> Always purple one. <laughs> Those are pretty. I have Priscilla and Lavender. Who got under 19? Did you get Lavender? I got uh, 17. 17. I got 20. I have you down at 20. 17. Uh, I am new to the Dungeons and Dragons. Is a 20 good? A natural 20? So what's your total? 24. Oh, okay. Dang. That initiative, though. That initiative, though. Okay. Uh, and it's after I dropped that half stone, I got quicker. Bram and Beyonce, what'd you guys get? Uh, I got a 7 total. I think you said Bram and Beyonce. I got a 7, actually. I got Sorry? 1... Minus one. So I got a zero. <laughs> Does it mean nice. never go? <laughs> we are really preoccupied. Zero sum. Down. It's working, Beyonce. He's distracted. <laughs> <laughs> never, never see anybody get a zero on initiative. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised I've never seen that somehow. Dance Lab, you get to go first. I thought my yeah, guy great. was going to go first for sure. Um... 
Oh no, oh no. Yeah, I heard down at 20 and I was a little concerned. Uh, would you call his posture threatening? You would find his posture to be threatening. Okay. Okay, handsome. This doesn't need to happen, but uh, since it's about to, uh, the first thing I do is summon my backup dancers. Oh, God. Okay. It's a 15-foot circle of spectral dancers. What? I'm kind of just watching this happen, just, like, disgusted and confused and just... What? As a reaction, can Lavender take notes? It's a whole floor show, yeah. buddy. Oh, it's your favorite I, Auntie's just gonna it's yell out, get it, now. girl! <laughs> yes, <Okay. please. laughs> um, uh, so yes, I'm casting Spirit Guardians to be as clear as possible. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, that's so funny! <laughs> and then, Sorry. Uh, let's see, who's closest to the wee beastie? Uh, Priscilla. Oh, wait, to the horse or to the horseman? Oh, no, I'm terrified of the horse, but we're talking about the horseman. He's the most um, threatening. Priscilla is closest to the horseman. Throw Sanctuary on Priscilla. Okay. Sanctuary? He will have to make a wisdom check to be able to target you. Yep. Uh, okay. Ah, shoot, I had another thing. It's fine. Do you want to do something else? I mean, I'm No, no, that's what I said I did. Okay. I need to remember my this stupid ability that I've always wanted, invoke duplicity, but I'll do it soon. Oh, it's not here. Okay. No. Oh, and make sure make sure I'm within fifteen feet of him, but like fifteen feet exactly. Sure. And he has to make a whiz save at the start of his turn. Oh yeah, if he's in my zone. I think he's just like in the doorway or something. But yeah, yeah, not much too far away. Yeah, you moved in. She she moved into the zone. Uh, yeah. Oh my. Next time ask permission before you cast a spell, but thank you very much. I think he's auto slowed, but he takes 3d8 if he starts in the zone. Okay. Oh boy, he. Rolls. What do you call the zone? It's a whole floor show. Uh, he rolls at 21. Well, that's going to save Andrew, yeah, but he still takes half of it. Yep. That's a... Uh, 11, so 5, right? Yes. 5. I get damaged by this, right? Hmm? I don't get damaged by this. It's fine. I've designated you to be fine. Uh, five sexy, sexy radiant damage. Okay. So what are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing to it? They, they're dancing. And then hurts Vi Violently, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Lots of thrusting. Yes. <laughs> Lots of thrusting. Priscilla just blushes. Oh, oh my. It's amateur hour. I still need to be the best dancer in the, in the team, obviously. Priscilla's uh, dress kind of gets all flowy for some reason. And <laughs> um, I need to cast Wind Machine next, but that's my turn. It is Priscilla's turn. All right. Priscilla is going to um, sort of flourish with her umbrella and then try and knock this guy's feet out from under him. Okay. So first I have to make an attack roll. Oh, no, that's a natural one. Thankfully, I get more attacks. Okay. Okay, that's much better. That is a 24. Is it hit? Okay, and I would like to expend a superiority dice to try and trip him. Okay. The DC for that is 14. If he fails the strength save, he is not prone. Oh, no. Strength save? Okay. <laughs> He will get a 16 on his strength save. Mm, okay. He still takes the extra damage from my superiority dice, thankfully. So that is... Oh, come on. That's uh, 12 points of damage. 
And you know what? Why not go whole hog? I'm going to action surge okay. and I'm going to attack him again. Wait, can I attack two more times with an action surge? Because yes. I'm a fight? Yep. Okay. In that case, I'm definitely going to do that. This next attack is going to be. Oh dear, that's a 13. Okay. Does that hit? Uh, no, that's a miss. Sorry. Okay, and this next attack is uh, a 12. That's also a miss. Sorry. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, just the 12 points then. So he's and I, do I have any... I don't have any bonus actions. As a fighter, uh, I think second wind is your only bonus action. But um, Yeah, so, and I've used my action, sur action surge. So. so you slash at him twice with your... Or four times. Four times. Uh, you feel the first one lands well. And then after that, you're hitting him. And though he's wearing noble clothing, you're being buffeted as if... He's wearing much heavier armor than it appears he is wearing. Okay. And it's his horse's turn. Oh, God. Uh, but, hey, hey, did he go? Oh, no. No, he was supposed to go before Priscilla. Thank you. It's important that he goes before Priscilla, because he took oh, my damage. He right? took your damage. Yeah, geez. He didn't take his turn. Okay. Sorry, no. doesn't take his turn. My fault. Does he have a, like a scythe or something. He pulls out a sickle, and oh, no. um, he has to make whiz saves before he can attack Priscilla. Is that right? Yes. So on his, if he goes before Priscilla. Yes, and he will. He does okay, so we will. Okay, we got this. So he will roll a twenty-one on his whiz save. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> And I only have two pamphlets, headless guy. <laughs> Get in he, there. He rolls 23 to hit. Ouch. Just misses. Take mm, that hurts. Slashing damage. Oof, wait. Uh, 10 damage, you said? 10 plus 5 necrotic damage. Okay, I'm going to parry that. That's my last superiority. No, wait, no, that's... You should have one more, right? Yeah, I should have one more. I do have one more. Okay, so instead of that, I take... So that's a total of 15 damage, right? you got to be a one, really? Okay, instead I take uh, 10 points. Okay. So it still hurts a lot. A, like, a lot, a lot. Like a bunch. Yeah, a bunch. Okay, and I've already taken my turn, so whoever is next. Well... Okay. To do Once you attack him, the sanctuary goes away. Yeah, I figured that part out. <laughs> his horse, you say? Yeah. His horse will attack the halfling. God damn it. <laughs> Every time with this be hunting. Gotta watch out for horses. Uh, 15 to hit? Uh, well, first off, it has half of its movement. Okay. Its movement Second is off, yeah, yeah, 60 that feet. So. Well, it's half. Okay. It moves. So the jump's on you. Yeah, feet, no, yeah, that still attacks you. Yeah, that still gets me. Okay. It does 12 bludgeoning damage. Uh, that's it. Okay. I feel like that's enough. I don't know. Let's... I presume a concentration check wouldn't run amiss? Yes, please. Oh, it entered your thingy. It makes it, it did. Safe. It makes it safe. Well, it still takes a bunch of damage, okay. so it can... Ooh. Uh, that's 16. So, well, 8. Okay. Okay, and I rolled 13 How concentration. How much damage did the other dude take? 5. Okay. Well. Total, he's taken... 17. Yeah, a bunch. So, right. the Spitfire horse takes 8. Okay. But I have yet another hoof print in my bosom. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, Lavender. Hi. Um, so, uh, right. Um, assuming I'm 
in the area now. Yeah. I'm not like close, you are. but like, yeah. Um, I, that, so that he is. It, would you um, would you say that that the that the headless horseman is between two places, maybe, like two two things. I don't understand what you mean. Maybe some trees and also the building, or he's in the doorway of the building. No. That works. Uh, she's gonna cast web and center the radius around him. Okay. I'm right next to him, but it's okay. You're just in a sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die. So does he get a deck save? How's web work? Ah, that's a great question. Um, you conjure a massive, thick, sticky webbing at a point of your choice within range. <laughs> Bloody blah, blah, blah. A uh, creature strained by webs. No, wait. Each creature starts its turn in the webs or enters it during their turn must make a dexterity saving throw on a failed save. The creature is restrained as long as it remains in the web until, or until it breaks free. Okay. So on its turn, it will make a. Uh... Does that also impact myself? No, she can position it so it's just getting the whole Okay, thing. good. Wonderful. Uh, if positioning it and it affecting Priscilla, so it would affect the horse as well, uh, I would affect Priscilla. That's fine. Well, it's fine. If, 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 you, it if you did that, you horse, would get Priscilla get dance horse. laps dance laps the horse and the horseman. But you would affect two of your party members. Yeah, I should do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll deal with it. Sorry. She's panicking. She's just like, ah, ah, whoops! Okay. I'm so like mad season. about this stuff getting on my... Like, you have never seen rage burn hotter than what Chris, Chrissy is feeling right now uh, with this web now all over her dress. It Beyond. also counts as difficult terrain. Oh, is it my turn? Yes. Oh, gross. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Beyond, so they're Beyond. In a... <laughs> <laughs> So they're in a web right now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, would you say that this guy looks undeadish? I would say he looks undeadish. Oh, he's missing a head. Sky. He doesn't have a head. On him. It's like, how does the sky look undead? <laughs> All right, so Vianti is going to cast uh, a chill touch. It's going to reach out a a finger, okay. and realizing that the thing doesn't have a head, he's going to go, eh. Whatever, and just do a full palm on the chest with this ghostly skeletal hand. Okay. Um, and let's see, it makes a ranged spell attack, including spell attack bonus. Okay. So. Ooh, plus seven. Okay. Let's. Oh, gosh, what is with these sixes today? Um, so that'll be. You could do 13 total. 13 does not hit. Oh. All right. Sorry. It just kind of limply brushes against his chest. Go away. And Rom. Okay. Um, who is more hurt, Priscilla or... Um, the halfling uh, dance dance? Lab. She is. I parried. Okay, so dance lab. I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> as a bonus action, I'll cast healing word. I'll bump it up to second Bless level. You. So let's see here. Four, two, six. So you got healed for ten points. Dance lab, and then um, it's like raining and it's dark, mm -hmm. so it's probably a lot like being on the deck of the ship during the storm. Yep. There's like water, like the coming on the, you know. There's an undead. I got, I got, my, I got my my sea legs going, so I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast call lightning. Nice. Boy, because oh, casting, because you're a castaway. Okay. <laughs> would you describe it as stormy, Andrew? I would describe it as stormy. <laughs> that may be important. Describe it as stormy. <laughs> Let's see. So call lightning. Uh, it's so the uh. The headless horseman will need to make a deck save. Does it have disadvantage because it's webbed? I think so. 
something like because that. Because it's stormy. Damn. I really hope. All right, call lightning. So it's gonna do three D ten lightning. So. I'm really hoping that's not an area of effect thing. I'm sorry. Hope not. She can, or he can uh, put position it so it just affects the headless horseman. So it's twenty two to the horseman. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I like the sailor guy. <laughs> oh, lightning. Uh, Stormcloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall with a 60 foot radius centered on a point that I can see 100 feet directly above me. Spell fail. Um, when you cast a spell, choose a point you can see within range. Bolt of lightning flashes down from the cloud to that point. Uh, yeah, it does say each creature within five feet of that point. Can I set it up so it doesn't hit Priscilla? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, in each of my turns until the spell ends, I can do the same thing again. So I'm concentrating and I can hold this up to 10 minutes. Okay. So I've created like this big storm. You know what's weird is it's possible that maybe my character created the storm that sank the ship. How oh, pathetic. Oh, I got sadder somehow. <laughs> <laughs> my character probably like just realized that. <laughs> he's crying as he's casting this massive It storm. was me. <laughs> there was no crap in. <laughs> Beyond, he'll drape himself around Rom and be like, "Oh my sailor." <laughs> it was further. It was me. All right. That's such a big thundercloud. <laughs> Like maybe I see like the court, the dead cabin boy like looking at me standing behind a gravestone. <laughs> like I'm sorry, Johnny. No, you see his face in the storm cloud, <laughs> like Mufasa. <laughs> okay, that's it. Point of order, and if he's in the web, he is restrained. Restrained does mean disadvantage on dex. Yeah, he failed his dex save. Okay. Cool, cool, so, cool. Yeah. All right, I'm all done. Okay, and. <laughs> It is Dance Lab's turn. You have to make a deck save because you're in the web. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gross. Everything's gross. Uh, 15? Uh, Does that, that beat your DC, Holly? Lavender's DC, right? Holly? Um, my DC is, uh, um, 14. Okay. So you're good. <laughs> You're dead. I did. I got a 15. Like, it's just... Like, if I wipe it on one hand, it's just on the other hand. There's yeah. too many obvious jokes here. God. God. Damn it. Uh, Not enough familiar feeling to dance laps. <laughs> Stop. Bianchi? Andy, just telling the truth, honey. Listen. Andy. Those are road stories. Are you still recording? I am. Okay, good. Because it, it has a different thing now on the Discord, and I got worried. It has a different one now. On Discord, it said you were streaming. It's because the premiere office. ended. Oh, yeah, oh. It's, yeah, that's probably why. Because the premiere ended at 6. Anyways, because we got to end this at 7, so let's try We got to end it at 4 7, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, why are you not? Well, oh, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, I got it. Alright. Uh oh Jeezy Pete's me and horses. Uh I'm sorry. Alright. Uh the skill I really want to use and then the proper choice. Uh shit, I really want to pile on the headless guy, but I got a horse problem. Uh behind the horse appears a spectral whip. Okay. Which is not itself <laughs> concentration, and it whips this horse in the ass because I'm done with it. Okay. Would it just charge at you? Now, Someone you never raised me earlier. Is a natural 20 good? <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> it's the lying that it's hurts the most. It's the lying that hurts. Uh, well, it takes five force damage. Really? To its haunch. Yeah, all right. Sorry, sorry, that's a crit. It's a crit, yeah. I rolled pretty crappily on 2d8. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, boy, I do not have a lot else that's going to bother this horse. 
Um, uh, you know what? I'll uh, I will I will pull out my horse killing rapier. Okay. And just gotta get that haunch. Just gotta get it. Again, you don't slam with a rapier. It's stabbing. It's for show. It smacks it. Uh, but yeah, a dirty twenty is probably good too, right? Yep. All right, and that's five. Okay. And I wasn't knocked prone. That was just in my mind, right? It was just in your mind. Yeah. Um. Did Did the snake boy get a chance to go? He did. Yeah. I'm. Oh, okay. I'm later. There was a spectral hand. Um, well, shoot, I spent all my actions I could have used to get away, so I guess it's you and me, horse. Okay. Uh, it's the Headless Horseman's turn. Uh, would you say he starts 15 feet from me, Andrew? I, I would. Uh, well, that's funny. He's stuck in my floor show. <laughs> he fails his wood save. Nice. That's nine, that's ten. Ah, shoot. Started well. Okay. He will say, um, fine, you aren't the ones who can fix this. And he'll ask you all to make charisma saving throws. Uh, 14. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, that's for one. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Nine what total. Okay. I died. This thing says I have a. Okay, wait. No, plus one. So twenty-four. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. Well. Fourteen. Become um, clerics, guys. <laughs> oh, you might not. You might have wanted to fail. Um, oh. Vianti. Lavender and Priscilla, you all fade, and you are back where you were before the mist took you. Oh no! <laughs> we you can choose to fail a save if you want. You can purposefully fail a save, or you can continue to fight. I mean, he will continue to try and send you. Home. Do we? Do we know the nature of the spell when it's cast on it? It felt like banishment. But I'll, I, I want to go. I can't leave my quality nursing. Okay. So you purposefully fail. Uh, Bram, is this place better than Waterdeep with its memories and its hard times? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't want to go. I'm, I'm, I, I'm dead, right? That's where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> If not now, you will be soon. Uh, would you like to go My back with your new... Here. My grave is here somewhere. I didn't get a chance to pick, pick it out yet. <laughs> you can go back with your new snake man, friend. Um, I don't know. Um, well, what's going to happen if I stay? If you stay? Do I have... Yeah. Uh, the horseman will be like, oh, you want to live here now? Or... <laughs> Free bar. Well, if everybody's going, I'll just go, I okay. guess. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so... You know, on the ship, we'd always go with... The <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to make any waves, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, I wanted to make sure we ended with enough time. You guys did pretty good against the... The Headless Horseman and his terrifying horse, though, you did, you did a pretty decent chunk of change. But anyway, um, it's as if it never happened. And we're... Priscilla's just kind of soaking wet and covering web, and it's just like, what the... What? Are we oh, returning to, to where we were taken joke. from? Yes. All right, so we're back on the long road. Yes. Tabasco make it. T Tabasco has moved, like, five feet ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, Typical you to get bash. your horse. Yeah. All right, so we were definitely in the Shadowfell, then. I, I can't horse anymore today. 
I'll really? go and get him. I never got Shadow to ask found. Priscilla if she was the Red queen of the desert. Ravenloft, it's all fine. Uh, no one there's got a, that joke. There's a lot of them dread realms. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, okay. This will be posted on YouTube, and maybe I will schedule a premiere on Twitch where I actually know what I'm doing. Mm, that um, sounds like a better plan. I mean, try it. To, probably have to edit it because of the first eight minutes where it's all muted. So sorry, Andy. I am. You know what? It's fine. I'm sorry. Okay. We're learning for next time. Exactly. Um, I'm a little disappointed. Well. Yeah. yeah. Better than I would have done. Oh, well, thank you. Um, and also, you're a great DM, so, oh, like, does you. it really matter? Um, well, it's in the restraints. Yeah, yeah if you want to do plugs again, um, I'm at Andy Hatton oh, shit, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I have some DMs Guild products coming out soon with. <gasps> That guy right there, Power Score RPG. We have a Miracles Tome of Foes coming out at some point. Ah, um, looking forward to it. And Marty. That sounds great. I'm Marty. Stop promoting being Marty. <laughs> and you're perfect. <laughs> Just the way you I are. I mean, I'm good at it. Uh, <laughs> Sean. Marty <laughs> Party. Uh, sorry? You say me? Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, so I'm Sean. Uh, yeah, we're making the Miracles Tome of Foes. Hopefully that'll be out in a couple weeks. I'm hoping by April 1st. Yeah. And uh, I'll be doing Waffle Talk in a little bit. And I'll be running Tomb of Annihilation on Saturday and Dungeon Academy on Sunday. I and I recap Dice Camera Action on my blog and all that stuff. Thank you for joining us, Sean. Yeah, yeah thank time, you man. so much. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, awesome. it was a very fun and weird game. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, Soup. Uh, hi, I'm Soup. I'm at Soup Suka on pretty much every social media. Uh, I do art and things. Um, so uh, I'm going to be probably posting some works in progress on my dice camera action zine piece pretty soon cool. um so i'm not sure if anything else will be coming out until i get that done but maybe some small doodles of dd stuff until then okay. uh, hi i'm dan daniel whatever you want to call me Dave. um daniel <laughs> thought that meme was dead anyways no. you can I got plenty of dice. Um, you can catch me at LightningFast11 on Twitter or at LightningFast on Twitch where I stream sometimes. Uh, but I'll be actually switching over to a new account for streaming my weekly D&D campaign called Roleplane, which features some of the artists from the zine as well, um, on a little quest. And uh, I'm going to put them through uncomfortable and painful situations, so that'll be fun. Um... You can catch that, and that's going to be Sunday at 5 p.m. We did have to change the time because daylight savings is stupid. Um, there is. Yep, and there's also, uh, I, I, if you follow Leanne Gover on Twitter, I think it's the Galaxy of Gover. Um, oh, yeah. She, yeah, she also has, uh, uh, she posts the uh, VODs of a campaign that we record earlier on Sunday called Horrible Barovia Times, where I'm currently playing a half-orc paladin who, who rushes into danger because he does that. I didn't know this. That sounds great. Okay, yeah. Cool. I should go watch that. And Holly. Hi, I'm Holly. I am at Holly Hemlock on Twitter, and um, Holly Hemlock art with hyphens. I think on Instagram, you, you'll find it. Uh, I do drawings and stuff. And this is Lavender. That's what she looks like. Oh, it's a little baby. And that's to prove my art. Um, and I am here. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm a part of this. Oh, yeah, we do this. Fridays at 7. And everybody... Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah, Fridays I was at seven. Say, everybody needs to go follow Kayla on Twitter. Oh, definitely, <laughs> she's great. Oh yeah. Just gonna just gonna advertise for her from now on because um, 
Who else are you gonna follow? If you're gonna follow anyone, go follow her. She's perfect. Yeah, Fridays at seven. Uh, Twitch.tv slash God of Roads uh, this week because I'll probably post this episode soon. Uh, don't worry about where Homebrewed is. Um, hashtag not all mists. Yeah, yeah not, not all, all mists. Mist. Hashtag not all mists. Okay. I'm worried. Thanks, I'm guys. Worried about- Bye. Bye. Bye.